Welcome to our first disagreement. I mean, costume. Just look at Queen Amidala's gown. The reds. The golds. She's even got her own personal lights at the bottom to illuminate her wherever she goes. This young lady knows how to make an impression, and everyone can tell who is in charge. Yeah, it's pretty, but is it functional? If you ask me, Stosis, clothes are only worth wearing if they're sensible and designed to help you carry and use your gadgets. Look at Obi-Wan Kenobi's cloak. He has it figured out. This outfit is practical, keeps the sun off your skin, and has plenty of pockets and a belt for cool gadgets like, I don't know, maybe a lightsaber? Costumes are for making an impression and telling the world about yourself. Look at Amidala's perfectly poofed hairdo and glimmering headdress. Can you say, wow? Uh, let's leave it up to our listeners, Stosis. Everyone, imagine yourself on a harsh desert planet with the sun beating down. Suddenly, the sand people attack. Which outfit would you rather be wearing? A stiff, lighty-uppy dress? or comfortable, flowy robes with your lightsaber on your belt in easy reach so that you can defeat the sand people with a single swing. Hmm. Now, dear listeners, take a moment to imagine you're at a royal palace, greeting a visitor from another planet. Would you want to look like a raggedy hermit? Or would you want to be cloaked in fine red silks and fur, faux of course, with a crown of gold? I just hope you don't need your blaster. There are no pockets in that thing. Obi-Wan's getup is intentionally simple. He was a great Jedi, and the Jedi are humble and don't value fancy stuff like that. Plus, robes like his have stood the test of time. See for yourself. The cloak Obi-Wan wore in his younger days looks almost the same as this one, and it's right around the corner. Along with the greatest gadgets of all time, each one unique and built only for its master. Listeners, look down on your screen for where to meet us next. <laughs>